uh, I am going to discuss with you the approach to invasive candidiasis in case of ICU. Over the last few decades, this has become a big challenge while managing the patients in case of ICU. So, my outline of the talk would be the on types of infections in case of candida, next the epidemiology, risk factors and the diagnostic test. Of course, the treatment strategies would be much covered by Dr. Todi in next lecture. In case of invasive candidiasis, when we think one aspect is most common is the candidemia, another aspect is the deficited candidiasis. Now, where from this candidemia can occur? Either it can come from the gut when there is cytotoxic chemotherapy or any way there is a chance of this fungus which is colonizing in the gut, they get the chance to go inside the peritoneum and affecting the deep tissue which much occurs in case of immunosuppressed host or in case of the cancer patient on cytotoxic chemotherapy. Second group of patients, it comes whenever there is a, uh, you put a vascular line, whether it is a peripheral line or it is a central line, then there is a chance if you do not practice good clinical practice, then there is a chance of this candida to migrate or get the chance to inside, enter inside the intervascular catheter. Whenever they produce the candida, candidemia, they can affect any of the organ. Most commonly it affects the kidney, rather it is said that the kidney has a predilection for getting the candida infection. And then the liver spleen, of course, it can be affected. Then certain patients develop endophthalmitis. Usually the lung lesions in case of candida is much less, but if we have severe candidemia, some of these cases may have even there is abscess in the lung. It can also go and affect the bones and also in case of the brain. Now, if we look into the epidemiology of invasive candidiasis, the total magnitude we do not know because there is restriction or there is not the awareness which is everywhere. It is only restricted to the specialized units. Second thing is that the diagnostic facility is limited in mostly in case of developing countries. But the projection is that there is around 250,000 people worldwide every year is suffering from invasive candida infection. And the mortality which is being found to be very high around 50,000 or more than that. And in certain situations it had been seen even up to 40 percent. And in case of population based study, it has shown that 2 to 14 cases per 100,000 population, especially if mainly this study is from Europe and the US. But in case of the developing countries, we really do not have such data.